Hey folks, it's your buddy Fatal Rudy. Um, today I'm going to do a video basically highlighting um, probably one of the best group of people I've ever been associated with. Um, that would be the band that I was roadie for, Frankie and the Actions. <clears throat> um, they've been around for a very long time, uh, since, uh, 1990, and I've been a roadie with them, well, I was a roadie for them, uh, since, uh, 2000, up until their last show in, uh, 2015, uh, they still do reunion shows, in fact, uh, they're doing a show uh, April 22nd uh, at um, the Tiki Bar in Solomon's Island. So if you're watching this and you're in Maryland, uh, definitely a show I would want to catch. Uh, you'll be you, you'll be you'll be entertained greatly. Um, they're great musicians. Uh, I did a tribute video with a bunch of pictures I took over the years, and in in the the uh, description, I, I was like, "How do you how do you fit?" And I was I was a photographer for the band for at least ten years, I want to say. Um, out of the out of those fifteen, um. But how do you fit 15 years in a short period of time and you really can't. Um, they, uh, like I said, a wonderful group of guys. Um, Frankie, uh, the namesake of the band, lead guitarist, phenomenal guitar player, uh, probably one of my all-time greatest guitar guitar players. Um, th just the work that he does with the guitar is amazing. Um, Mike, lead singer, rhythm guitarist. Good voice. Uh, a lot of the songs that I, I like now were because of, of them playing and Mike singing. Um, Jeff, their bass player, great bass player, one of my one of my favorite bass players. Uh, Spritel, Mike, uh, brilliant drummer, love him. Uh, their former drummer, Robert, great guy. Um, whenever he used to, he'd sit in every once in a while. Uh, hearing his solo when he did uh, Moby Dick, just jaw dropping. Um, a lot of the, they they put out when I, when I joined the band, um, they put they have already put out two CDs, uh, Generation Well in order, Stripped to the Bone, and Generation Y. Two great CDs. Um, unfortunately, they're out out of print. It's rare to if you find someone with with one. Uh, maybe one. Maybe I'll do a video uh, reviewing uh, those two CDs um, at, in an, in an, at another time. Some of the, some of the some of my favorite songs are from those two CDs, um, "Stripped to the Bone," uh, the title track of the first CD. Amazing song. Um, uh, "Live and Loud." Th that would probably be one of one of my songs that I would say uh, when it, when that song comes on, and I'm driving, I'll look down and I'm. Doing 80 miles an hour in a 45. <laughs> uh, 
from the from their sec second CD, uh, Psychedelic Girl, Tattoo Baby, um, My Generation, uh, the Edgar Winter cover of Frankenstein. Um, just great songs, uh, you know. I and I'm I'm one of those people who are famous for putting a CD on and skip, skip 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 until I find a song that I like and those two CDs I, I will listen to from beginning to end um, they're, they're and I, I'm not saying that because I used to work for them you know I had those two CDs before I worked for them and there was I well actually or there were tapes back then if that tells you how old I am uh, <laughs> Um, I actually wore out my uh, my first copy of Generation Y, um, and later I upgraded it to a CD, <laughs> but I can't, couldn't couldn't wear that out. Um, going to one of their shows is definitely you it definitely a, a great show um a lot of, you know they they play a, a lot of covers um and they play them very well uh some of my favorites were um van halen ain't talking about love um uh, uh, fog hat uh, i just want to make love to you um smoke on the water Freebird. Um, uh, oh, now I'm sex type thing. Uh, Thunder Kiss. Um, play that funky music, which uh, if you if you're at a live show, you'll listen to them. They'll play uh, play that funky music. And they'll go right into playing um, Thunder Kiss 1965, and then go like like it was nothing. It was just like, um, sorry about that, technical difficulties. Um, but they'll seamlessly go right into Thunder Kiss, and then go right back into play that funky music. Um, they do that with, with quite a few other songs. Um, one of them, uh, me and one of the other guys in the road crew, Billy, uh, will get up on stage and do, and that's Jump Around. Um, they'll, they'll go from Jump Around to playing Immigrant Song, Led Zeppelin, to playing uh, Ice Ice Baby, and then go right back into Jump Around. Uh, one of my favorite points in the show, get to go up on stage and yell jump a lot um and billy and i would add little bits you know in with the the other songs as well uh they're great another great song i like um ice cream man from van halen uh jeff would, would on a rare occasion uh sing i was wrong from social distortion um, uh, machine Head, Little Things, from Bush. I, I could go, like I said, 15 years, I can go on w w forever for the, with the songs. Uh, they're, I mean, just phenomenal artists. Uh, definitely, if, if you're... If you see them on the on on the billboard for a ba uh, bar and they're playing, definitely go to see them. You you won't be disappointed. Um, like I said, I was part of the road crew. Uh, there were uh, four, mainly there were four of us. Um, quite a few others have been in and helped over the years. Um, I worked in front of the stage. All of us basically loaded in, set up, and loaded out. 
Um, but then each of us had our own where we specialized in. I, like I said, I was front stage. Um, I'll keep the drunks off the stage. Uh, I was mainly a photographer after I think it was 2005. I think I started taking pictures with the band. Uh, Tommy, my brother, um, he was Frankie's roadie. Uh, he set up Frankie's equipment. I set up Mike's equipment. Uh, helped Jeff with his equipment. And uh, in between sets, I, I tuned up uh, Jeff's bass. Uh, Tommy set up Frankie's equipment, strung and tuned Jeff, uh, sorry, Frankie's guitars. Um, he also worked the soundboard and the lightboard. Uh, Randy, who's a phenomenal sound man, um, he did this, he, like I said, he ran the sound, um, could pick out a, a frequency that was feedbacking or some, or there was a problem, you know, there was a, a ring somewhere he'd, he'd find it. And he, I can't remember the frequency he went, I was standing there, he's, I think it was, I won't say, like, he's a, that's 4K. What? That ring is 4K. What ring? And he'd <laughs> turn, turn the dial and it was like, it's gone. That man, that man had ears like a, a like sonar. I mean, he could just anything. <laughs> um, and was was a wizard at fixing stuff. Um, we had problems with an amp, or one of the uh, speaker cabinets we had, we had uh, a problem with. He'd take them home and bring them back the, the next week, and good as new. Just just a wizard with electronics. Um, then it was Billy, my homie, one of my best friends. He was the drum tech. Um, took care of Spritel. Um, he was also front stage with me. Uh, kept, kept me sane. I think it was probably another one of his uh, job descriptions. <laughs> Um, all, all seven of them, uh, I miss, uh, a couple of the other people that, that, uh, helped out over the years was, uh, Catfish, he, he'd show up at a few shows and help out, um, great guy, miss him, and Howard, love that man, he, 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 he helped with the bass, um, and if there was someone, one of the, if, well, actually there was a lot of them that, that would crack jokes and stuff, but Howard was always, you know, doing goofy stuff and, and making you laugh. Uh, over the years, we've played at many, many, many bars, uh, memories, which I've heard now is, has been closed. Um, ape hangers. Calypso Bay, uh, the Purple Moose in Ocean City, um, the Hideaway, uh, Loafers Lounge, uh, Shooters, I think, in Salisbury. Um, just all over the place. Uh, <laughs> way too many of them for me to remember. All of them end up just being one big blur half the time. Um, what was it? Gilligan's Pier was was another good good gig. Um, and to to hear a lot, of, you know, hear hear their shows live is is just. I you know I would I I can't say it enough. I definitely recommend it. Um, There are many, many good times, many bad times, but 
I wouldn't trade those 15 years for anything. Um, I in those 15 years, I when uh, Jeff got married to his his wife Joan, I was the uh, the minister at the wedding, uh, which was. And it was an honor for me, and even then, it it that was it offered a, a bit of humor to it because I I messed up a little bit. <laughs> Two words, oh shit. <laughs> um, I wish I could I can make it to the the show this coming Saturday. Um, unfortunately, due to a, a tax snafu, um, I won't be able to make it. But I guarantee you, I will be back at another show. Um, but, like I said, how can you fit so many years in a short time? A lot of the songs that they've played in the style that they play it have changed me quite a bit because I'll listen to the original and I'll be singing along with the, the original and be singing the Frankie and the Actions version of it more so than <laughs> the, the original. Uh, a couple of them, uh, My Own Worst Enemy from Lit. Uh, she hates me from puddle of mud are two two of them that I uh remember fondly um, but uh, there are so many songs that they've played that I liked and I can't I wish I could remember them all um Like I said, uh, train kept it rolling, walking the dog, both of them from Aerosmith. Um, Magic carpet ride. A uh, couple of those songs, uh, Frankie uh, did amazing guitar work, uh, inclu including uh, Magic carpet ride, where he he would turn his guitar flat and put a beer bottle on the neck and slide the the beer bottle up and down the neck of the guitar and like it was nothing and flip the guitar back catch the beer and keep playing like it was nothing uh, is it um, train kept it rolling uh, between uh, Mike and Frankie, the guitar work between those two, w w it was phenomenal. And uh, like I said, maybe, uh, maybe I'll do a review on those two CDs. Um, if y'all want to see it, let me know, and I'll I'll get working on those in the future. I'll post links to some of the stuff that. Uh, I've recorded for for Frankie some of the videos. Um, I'll post links to the shows and to the sites. So if you want to go check them out, um, by all means, it, it, like I said, I, I mean I'm, I'm repeating myself over and over again. Great shows, but I'm going to go ahead and jump from here. Um, hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more like this, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. That way you can get updates on, on future videos. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to go. I'm in Fatal Roadie. I'll catch you on the next shot. And if it's too loud, you're too old. Catch you later.